In this video, we are going to discuss how to start Windows 7 in safe mode and some of the reasons for using this feature. To help follow along, click the link below the video to view or print the show notes. Safe mode is a Windows tool that allows you to troubleshoot problems with your computer. If your computer will not start normally, but starts in safe mode, you can then begin to narrow down the cause of the problem. Getting to the Advanced Boot Options menu can be a little tricky. When your computer first turns on, hold down the F8 key on your keyboard until the Advanced Boot Options menu appears. If you get an error about a stuck key, try rapidly pressing and releasing the F8 key until the menu appears. You may need to restart or shut down the computer and try a few times before it works. There are actually three different types of safe mode available. The first option, simply titled Safe Mode, loads Windows with only the essential drivers and services. As the name suggests, Safe Mode with Networking also loads the drivers and services necessary for Internet access. Safe Mode with Command Prompt will skip the graphical user interface that you're used to seeing and only present a command prompt. This option requires you to manually type commands on a command line, so it is recommended for advanced users. Just for fun, let's choose Safe Mode with Networking and press Enter. The screen Loading Windows Files will appear and the basic drivers and services will load. As Windows boots, the word Safe Mode will appear in the corners of the screen along with the Windows Help and Support window. Close the Windows Help and Support window. If your screen resolution doesn't match your screen, right click on a blank area on the desktop. Notice that in this example, the window doesn't quite fill the entire screen. In some instances, the screen will appear very large and scroll bars may appear on the right side and bottom of the screen. Select Screen Resolution from the menu and find the Resolution box. In this example, I will switch the resolution from 800 by 600 to 1366 by 768 because that's the size of my screen, and then click outside of the drop down list. The appropriate screen size now appears in the resolution box. Click OK to continue. A small window will appear verifying that you would like to keep these settings. Click Keep Changes and the resolution is now correct. Looking at the black screen, we can see that the computer has started in a low graphics mode, but there is still quite a bit of functionality, so you can get your computer up and running again normally. Since we chose Safe Mode with Networking, we can open a browser window and access the internet if needed. You could also perform a system restore and roll back the changes on your computer to a point where everything worked fine. Note that if you suspect malware issues, you could perform a system restore, but you should still run a full virus scan afterward to get rid of any unwanted or malicious programs. In this video, we reviewed how to start Windows 7 in safe mode and some of the reasons for using this feature. Please consider supporting HelpfulVideoTips.com on Patreon. You can give as little as $1 per month, and every dollar really helps. There are even rewards based on the amount you're able to give. Thank you. The show notes for this video are available by clicking the link below the video. Please help to support HelpfulVideoTips.com by subscribing to this YouTube channel, and visiting HelpfulVideoTips.com to follow along on social media. I'm Tom Sutton. Thank you for watching.